Monday morning, everybody. Hope you had a great weekend. Thank you for being here. If you would, join me in uh, Acts chapter 28, verse 6. And again, I will ask you to like, share, comment on the post. And if you don't know what to comment, let me again uh, ask you, if you will, to, uh, if you've got, a, again, a topic or section of scripture, a question, something you'd like to see discussed here, I uh, would be very grateful if you'd put that in the comments. And uh, we'll try to um, answer those questions and, and study those out if we can. And so, uh, or just come on in and tell you, hey, I don't know. Uh, and so, uh, I'll be that honest with you. But uh, let's pick up today uh, in verse 6. After uh, pulling the stick out of the fire and uh, or stirring the fire, putting the sticks on the fire, Paul gets snake bit. And the people are uh, the barbarians or the natives uh, there are convinced that listen Paul must be gods are after him they he managed to survive the shipwreck but now he's been bit uh, by this snake so it's obvious that he's done something bad uh, and God's gonna get him and so verse 6 says they were waiting for him to swell up or suddenly fall down dead but when they waited a long time and saw no misfortune come to him they changed their minds and said that he was a god now in the neighborhood of that place were lands belonging to the chief man of the island named Publius who received us and entertained us hospitably for three days it happened that the father of Publius lay sick with fever and dysentery Paul visited him and prayed and putting his hands on him healed him and when this had taken place the rest of the people on the island who had diseases also came and were cured. Um, <laughs> I guess this passage really shows us the uh, fickleness of man. Uh, in one minute, they're thinking Paul is cursed by God. He's been in a shipwreck and been snake bit. Uh, when he doesn't um, <laughs> swell up or fall down, uh, they change their mind and decide, no, he's not. Uh, the gods are not mad at him. In fact, he is a god. And uh, so they, they changed their mind. Uh, we're, it really doesn't say, but I, I got to think it's kind of related to the fact that uh, Paul survived the shipwreck and the snake bite. But uh, somehow this important man on the island named Publius, uh, I think doesn't say it, but I think he hears about what's, going, what's happened with Paul. And so he wants to meet him, invites him over, and uh, Paul goes and, and stays with him. And when he gets there, uh, Publius's father is sick, and um, he lays hands on him, and he is healed. And uh, now they're lining up for Paul. Uh, everybody that's sick comes to see Paul. And so uh, think about that swing. He, he, well, boy, he's really fortunate to have escaped the shipwreck. Well, God must be after him. He was in a shipwreck and got snake bit. Well, no, he must be God because he didn't die from either. And... I don't even know what they were thinking of him, uh, what they were calling him when they changed to the point of bringing all their sick uh, to Paul for them to see him. Uh, no doubt we see that this is not a real faith in God. Uh, this is a matter of superstition. This is, uh, again, the, the natives. Um, again, one minute they're teaching that a God, little g, uh, has caught up with Paul from the shipwreck and the snake bite. And so he's got to be a criminal, and uh, we know he was chained to the ship, so he's got to be a criminal. The snake bites definitely death, and so he must be a murderer. That's their thinking. Uh, and then he survives that, and uh, and so they just it tells us kind of how fickle and funny what their faith was uh, based on, how they were, uh, how they think, um, in, in uh, how God operates. Uh, they just have this um, yeah, this instability of their of their faith and what they believe uh, about how God operates. That God um, operates in in that kind of way, and um, that that's just the way. Even today, many people uh, still have that. We see that with Job. Uh, Job, what have you done? Uh, why is God mad at you? And um, we think that way today. Um, you know, even even Christians, we get a little confused. We look, and sometimes somebody who's uh, living in sin, uh, doing drugs or whatever, and they're driving a nice car and a big house, and we're struggling to get by, and we're wondering, you know, what's going on. We don't understand. 
Um, you know, we question God. Why, why are you blessing that man? You know how mean and uh, nasty uh, that uh, that he is. Um, and you know, and we see people who have things uh, again going well for them, and we assume that they must be a good person. Um, you know, we, we go both ways with it. You know, either why are you blessing them, Lord, because they're mean and nasty, or we look at other people and think, well, they God must love them. They must be doing well. Um, we like Job's friends. They're, they're suffering. They must not be doing what they should. Um, when all along, the lesson that we need to remember, uh, again, a couple of lessons uh, that we need to keep in mind, and this story just illustrates them, is that um, even when... Um, there are hard times. Um, you know, look at Paul here. We see Paul in the shipwreck. We see him snake bit. We see the opinions of him change. But ultimately, we see that uh, we're going to see in this story uh, that eventually he becomes a popular man and they're bringing a lot of gifts to him. And that uh, God can use those opportunities, what we may think of as trials and tribulations, uh, as op actually opportunities uh, to tell others uh, about Christ. Uh, you've got to assume that Paul told Publius. Uh, he told everyone there as they came to him and asked him his story. And how did you survive a shipwreck? How did you save a snake? How did you survive uh, the snake bite? It would have been easy for Paul to have been complaining and angry at God. But instead, he continues uh, to be faithful uh, and to serve God and use these opportunities then to share the gospel as he's going to continue to do all the way to Rome, uh, all the way to the grave for that matter. He's going to continue even when um, the circumstances are bleak and they're terrible. He's uh, in prison. He's chained to Roman guards. His ship is being wrecked. He's being bit by deadly snakes. And yet Paul holds the faith. Um, good reminder for us. Don't know what we're going to face today. Me or you, either one. Can't see in the future either. But I do know this, that no matter what comes along, God is still in control and we still should live for him and witness and tell others about Jesus. Don't forget it, no matter what comes today. Have a good one. We'll see you here tomorrow morning.